Does our military have in its possession the twisted metal remains of crashed UFOs, the charred bodies of space crewmen? I don't know. There are no easy answers, but one thing is clear. With the formidable resources at its disposal, the American military has to have the best collection of UFO data in the world. And I really think it's time they shared that data with the people. What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Jason with UFO Chaser here. And uh, I do apologize for not posting videos here lately. Um, life has had me pretty busy. Uh, nothing bad or anything. Um, just life. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, I'm going to try to get back in the groove of things and start posting a lot more videos. Um, I am working on um, getting some new uh, equipment, like some infrared stuff, night vision cameras, stuff like that. And uh, I'm actually going to go make some videos and actually chase some UFOs and go set up in a few UFO hotspots um, that I know close around me here. Um, and um, that ought to be a lot of fun set up and see what I can get. So stick around for that. And um, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy um, this video that I put together today. And what I like to call the greatest collection of vintage UFO footage ever. Thanks for joining me, guys, and as always, much love. The evidence is here. Our planet is indeed being visited by intelligences greater than man's. They travel in spaceships, in flying saucers. no good arguments against UFO reality if we consult the evidence. I kind of thought it was people at first, you know, off like that. But of course, when they when they appeared there in, in front of me, um, it was the most shock I've ever had in my life. They they were they were shorter than me. I'd say about five foot two or three, and they didn't have a neck. They, they had it seemed to come directly to their shoulders, and they had something uh, that, that came out to a point about where my nose would be. And, and on each side, the ears. And I believe that they looked like they were a little longer on the ears than the nose. But it seemed to me when they came out that doorway, or that opening or whatever it was, then just almost instantly, they were right there on us. Their arms, they had arms, it, and I saw the arms moving here and, and in the shoulders, but they had welled. I mean, their, their fingers were welled, and then they had something like a thumb, and they were like this. Mm -hmm. UFO Quebec carried this sketch of a UFO humanoid crewman with a map of the star system in the vicinity of Zeta Reticuli, many light years away. We have received and recorded some 30,000 sightings since 1955. Have you noticed any particular patterns that developed in uh, pinpointing the UFO sightings on these maps? No, we have found no marked pattern, although we do believe that they are following two 
procedures, one, a surveillance of the land area, the very close surveillance, and a close surveillance of the people, and it seems to fluctuate from one to the other. Now, through all these years of research, you must have drawn some conclusions about what they are, what the UFOs are. Well, we firmly believe that uh, what the people are seeing in those objects which we have classified as unknown are actually vehicles uh, not manufactured on this planet. How can you draw that conclusion? How do you know? Well, the vehicles that have been seen in the United States, and there are good records of this uh, for the last 200 years, and actually the records go back into history for some 3,000 years. The same thing that were seen then are being seen today. Dr. Siegel, is it likely, in your opinion, that cloned man will become a reality in the near future? The very definite possibility exists that in the foreseeable future, it will be possible to clone the most complex mammal of all, man himself. 